Hey guys, this lesson we're going to introduce you how to turn on robotic on and the status instruction after the robotic on is turned on. First of all, install suction cups to the robotic arm, point the suction cups to the holes of base, and fix them. After installing suction cups, we need to connect the power pairing cable to the controller. Loose the screws on power connection port, and then connect the red wire to positive pole and the black to negative pole. Finally, tighten the screws with screwdriver. When the pairing cable is not connected to the controller, do not connect it with adapter directly before that. Okay, turn on controller now. You can find that the red light on its SP32 controller lights up and it is the power indicator. Wait for a while, the blue light will light up, which means the initialization is complete. That is, the robot on has been switched on successfully. After switch on, the indicator representing the status of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi signal next to the controller will flash continuously, which means that there is no device connected. If the robotic arm is connected by mobile app successfully, the light will keep on. Finally, let's look at the servos on robotic arm. The indicator on servo will flash in different colors, which means that they are in normal working status. Okay, this is the end of the video. Thank you for your watching.